What is up everybody? This is General Spear here. Welcome back to another episode here on the channel of XCOM 2, the War of the Chosen, the Clone Wars campaign. How y'all doing today? Hope you're all having a good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, it is awesome that everybody seems to be loving the series so far. Two episodes in, almost 500 views each. That's a lot of loving right there. That's definitely a lot of loving. So what have we got going on the on the series so far? So we got rapid excavation going in two days. Uh, clear out alien debris in five. Grill ops in eight. Uh, excuse me, not grill ops. Grill tactics school in eight days and a supply drop in fifteen. We are doing pretty dandy. I am going to recruit another person just randomly, so that uses all our money, and we're gonna actually gonna go ahead and. Um, make this soldier a new soldier at some point i don't know who necessarily probably oh actually i know who i know who we could do we could do one of the arc troopers yeah that sounds like a plan i think we'll go ahead and do that so we'll change this to being character info arc 77 and for those who do not know arc 77 is fordo Make him part of the Galactic Republic, wherever that flag is. Where is it? There it is. Clone Trooper voice. Oops. Right there. Normal attitude. And then biography, we'll just go ahead and delete that for right now. I'm not going to do any bios because it's just too much time and effort. Um, let's see, head. Let's go ahead and take a look at the helmet. As there's a lot of frozen activity and FPS drop. Let's see what we got. So... Quite a few Phase 1 uh, helmets in this pack, not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome. There's Fox. Somebody was mentioning on the subject, by the way, while I'm doing this, um, that, um, and I, I saw this in the comments below, and I kind of expected it when, um, you know, expected this to happen. There's, there's Fordo's helmet. Um, Commander Fox, there's a lot of back and forth um, argument of whether he's, you know, a decent clone or if he's in fact the most hated clone in the entire Clone Wars. And the the reasons are is that he let Zero the Hut go when there was the Holocron heist uh, thing going about, or no, not the Holocron heist. It was while. Um, the senators of the Republic building were um, kept hostage by um, by um, Cad Bane and his, and his uh, squad of bounty hunters. That's not what I wanted. So there's that. There's also uh, amnesty for him for uh, you know uh, pursuing and uh, making sure that Ahsoka goes under arrest. And, you know, giving orders, you know, shoot to stun or something like that, or shoot to kill. I can't quite remember how it went. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go with that comma, I guess. But then, of course, there's the last bit, which involves... Um, I'm just going through here. I'm just going through here. Hold on. Uh, there's the last bit that involves, of course... Um, you know, Fox taking the shot against Fives in the in the later later episodes of season six, and so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of hate against Fox. But here's here's my arguments against um, against it all. Fox was is was the the commander of the um, of the guard. Uh, for uh, for the Republic, he was the commander of the uh, Coruscant Guard, uh, and it was he was the number one in charge. Um, 
So, if anybody had a problem about... Alright, and if any, you know, and there was there was a lot of responsibility, basically. There's there's a ton of things to to consider and to get right. That's Fordo right there. Um, there was tons of things to, to consider and have happen and everything. There's a lot of, um, you know, thinking ahead and whatnot. In the case of Zero and it letting Zero go and everything, you know, Senator's lives were at stake. And it was a matter of, do you risk and basically risk killing all the senators just to keep the the prisoner or do you let the prisoner go to save the senator's lives and i think he acted very logically in that front when ahsoka was being questioned and everything about her loyalty to the jedi and her loyalty to the republic and fox of course being one of the pursuers you gotta remember that not months long before there was a Jedi that had betrayed the Jedi Order and the clones quite uh, brutally in General Krell on Umbara. Umbara fell to the dark side and pitted the clones against each other. So it's logical to think from that standpoint with Ahsoka's quote unquote, you know, not betrayal, but it looks as if in terms of the circumstantial evidence that's being mounted against her, like, you know, she's, you know, potentially a bad guy in that case, even though she's not. We all know that she isn't, but, you know, many of the other clones didn't see it that way. Fox, in particular, was one of them, and he was being, you know, outwardly cautious because, you know, not only is he being the leader of the course on guard, he also has a little bit of amnesty, especially for um, having heard about what had happened with General Krell um, and all of that fun and, you know, whatever else. But in the case of Fives, and probably the, the, the case in which everybody argued was the most, I guess, you know, potentially... You know, was the event in which people hated Fox for the most? It was because, you know, Fox is a fan favorite. Not Fox. Fives is a fan favorite, no matter what, through and through. And, you know, all the way back to his Domino Squad days. And for Fox to kill Fives outright is, you know, it was, it was hurtful. It was, you know, brought a tear to my eye when I first saw that. But after the the shock and awe of that moment even though a lot of people hated fox for it i could see why it happened and here's why fives was an escape fugitive from camino he he was told that he would needed to stay place stay put he needed to follow orders he was already disregarded many orders by shakti and the kaminoans and he was branded a fugitive and escapee from Camino, and he was to be brought to justice. When he reached his Coruscant, there's already search warrants going up for him. Um, the security is on high alerts and everything. And, you know, it's not the first time in which clones have acted out. Take, um, take, uh, uh, who is it? There's a clone way, 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 way in the beginning, all the way back in season one, that disobeys and defies orders and is essentially a turncoat. Um, and it happens on the planet of Christophsis. And I'm trying to remember what his name is. Um, Slick. That's who it is. Slick betrays and defies orders. He's not the only clone to do so. We've seen so in Legends. We've seen so in uh, some of the comics and stories that some clones just didn't follow orders. And Fox was very aware of this, having been leader of the Coruscant Guard. And he was thinking that Fives had a significant problem with him and everything. And so when Fives, in addition to Fives already being a fugitive, he gets called to the Chancellor's chambers on Coruscant. We've had our suspicions. Before now, we've never had the resources to investigate the possibility of clandestine advent facilities built up outside the city centers. Now that we've gotten word of this black site, I have to admit, I'm worried about what we might find. They could be doing anything in there. Thank you, Central. But let me finish my story. So, 
Fives is called to the Chancellor's chambers alone. He, you know, the Chancellor requests that his presence be left alone. And the Chancellor tells Fives everything to do with Order 66 and the plot against the Jedi. And I don't necessarily know why he does this. Um, but it's information that is in hindsight is surely to get him killed and he is seen trying to assassinate the chancellor there's no recordings there's no video evidence of this fives with his history of bringing a fugitive and now an attempted murderer his his body basically is you know it, it basically security is being given the the um the order of shoot to kill and that's something that you know, for for Fox is an order not to be taken lightly. He definitely has, you know, he definitely has a tough time processing, especially after he shoots Fives. If there was another way, but given that Fives had he had already been a fugitive, he has been an attempted murderer of the highest stature of the Republic, and he also is holding at the time they finally find Fives, he is holding uh, General Skywalker and. Captain Rex in in um, in a not a hostage situation, but definitely something that could be treated as a hostage situation, especially when Fives takes up a weapon. Surely Fox could have handled any of these scenarios in a different way, but the outcome might have been drastically different. You know, Fives for Fives, we would probably would have learned about the plot against the Jedi, but. You know, of course, it was we know from the continuity of the films that was never meant to be. With zero, many senators' lives could have been lost um, with if zero was not handed over. With Ahsoka, that also could have been played out differently. But it was one of those things where, like, it made sense for Fox to do a lot of these things that they did. Nobody liked it, but in the context of his character, it made sense and that I spent a lot of time on that spiel right there and that's something I noticed in the comments and I wanted to just clear that up and say what I thought about it now getting back to this whole thing here we have recovered cargo but I'm gonna go ahead and go on the engineer over here I want to start that out and actually, you know, attempt to finish it. it. Just as I had hoped, Commander. Nice. Rapid excavation. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so what do we want to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and go for hybrid materials. Get that going. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. I'm glad you agree with me, Tygen. Thank you. And that'll only take a few days here. Nice. Engineer Jack Barnes. Oh, you look ugly. Supplies, not right now. Supplies actually would be good. Guerrilla Tactics, let's go ahead and get Barnes in here. Just get it finished. And let's go ahead. You know what? Let's. Hmm. Avenger Let's do this up here. Course. I have no clue what this is down here. I don't think it's going to go away. I hope it doesn't go away. It sounds important enough. The outcome nice. Of can only further our advances, Commander. So we got nanoscale vests open and plated armor available for research. Nice. Uh, which we cannot do because we don't have the alloys currently to do so, so that's fine. Then there's resistance communications and alien biotech. I'm gonna go with alien biotech. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Thank you, Tygen. Nice alien debris, cool. So that's all done. Go ahead and begin to work out the debris in here. Room. Oh, it's cleared! Whoa! Twenty days. Okay. Well, that's that's good to good to have. Gorilla tactics 
Diagnostic School. Nice. All right, Guerrilla Tactics School is operational now. Let's go ahead and see what we can potentially build. Uh, nothing. Okay. The training center, I do know I want to get up and running sooner rather than later. But it doesn't need to be an immediate thing. Let's see, can we train a rookie in here? I think we shall. I think we shall. Um... Let's get Arc 77 in here for an, a Kimbo training. Most of the Arc Troopers are going to be a Kimbo class troopers, if not all of them. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see if we can play around with the, this class a lot more. So that's going to be happening there. And, uh, is there anything else I can do? Go ahead and, I guess, get this going. Ten days for that, not bad. You are too ah, okay. Trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk, out. Actually think they might show up. Commander. That was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Okie dokie. If you've got the time, we have a little bit of a situation here that could benefit from your help. Not sure how long our contacts are going to wait for us, Commander. So I'd recommend we proceed as soon as possible. Which means available soldiers are standing by to deploy. Which means I can't really back out of this. So for the Western US looks like it's gonna be this kind of a mission. I already know what happens. I've played this enough times already. Each faction has agreed to allow a two-person squad to escort them to the rendezvous point. Hopefully that should be enough to keep them from killing each other. We've got a temporary ceasefire in place for the duration of the meet, but still, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be ready for anything. So, I already have an idea for what I want to do, and I think it'll actually be pretty fantastic. Um, what I'm going to do... Oh god. That looks a little funky. First off, Skywalker, let me fix your arms. I gotta fix your arms. Um, I already know roughly what's gonna happen this mission. It's gonna be a really, really nuts. But um, and yes, he does have a backpack. I thought that was completely awesome. 
Um, loadout. Can I give you... Can I give you a different weapon altogether? I can give you a rifle. Yeah, I'll give you that rifle. Uh, let's see. Customize... Weapon color... Okay. So, this will be a chance for Anakin to prove his worth. So, that's going to be Team 1, is Anakin and Obi-Wan. Next squad, I think... Is going to be... I actually don't know. I don't know if I should bring another rookie. I'll say that much. Maybe Rex and Cody? Oh god, I gotta switch him out. Um, I don't want to take him up any more time on camera doing this, so I'm gonna pause here really, really quick, and I'll come back when I actually have Cody properly in here. So, I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that looks a lot better. So, Rex and Cody are going to be the second team, and I actually just realized that I need some med kits. Go ahead and do that with them. So, team one is going to be Kenobi and Anakin. Team two is going to be Rex and Cody. That's going to be pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and get down there. Oh, boy! Let's see how this goes. Where are we? Here? Like 20 plus minutes into this. It's gonna be interesting. We're in the pipe. Five by five. All right, here we go. and skirmishers have been at each other's throats for years, so we're keeping the exact meeting point strictly need to know. You'll split into two squads, rendezvous with each faction, and bring their envoy directly to the location of the meet. Officially, this city no longer exists, so we don't expect a lot in the way of advent resistance. Still, keep your eyes peeled. It's been about 20 years since we last stepped foot in this place. Yeesh. Okay. Here we go. It was the ruins of Seattle, which is just crazy. If you are hungry, there's more where that came from. Impressive reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. We're all friends here. You are safe here. More so than you imagine. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. I like how Kenobi is holding an invisible rifle. <laughs> Uploading the coordinates to the rendezvous point now. We've plotted the most direct route there. We don't know much about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name. Mox. Mox? Praetal Mox? His death squads wiped out entire camps of my people in the first years of the war. You would dare do this! Pretty sure hands are bloody on both sides of this fight. That's the whole point of this intervention. Reapers are born in the shadows. 
in the cold, harsh world that was waiting for us out there. We rely on stealth and long-range attacks, and our marksmen are unmatched by even the best XCOM has to offer. Damaged and dormant all these years, these devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. Okay. Let's move already. Skywalker's gonna hold position there. Kenobi's gonna fall up front. And just do that for right now. Oh yeah! I forgot to mention. Uh, we have another mod that we've uh, got going on here. If you'll have noticed. Moving as ordered. Three to four. Chance to reveal 50%. Not fantastic. Tired of waiting around. No more time for regret. We are not alone. Those things. They still look like people. What was human died years ago. Only the taint of the alien survives now. Where there is one, more will follow. You must not hesitate to destroy them. These creatures' true strength lies in their numbers. As you can see, they fall easily. If we are careful with our shots, we will prevail. <laughs> Who's keeping score? Okay. So, um, I think one of those might have been a fire trooper. Covering now. On the move. Which is just oh so fantastic. Oh, hi. Yeah, death troopers. Lovely. Okay, will that reveal? Nope! Nice. Come on, Anakin. You want some more? These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. Though why anyone would subject themselves to that? I cannot imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. Let's rock! We're gonna do a quick reload here with Anakin. Let's do this! We're just gonna go and hunker I down with Kenobi it. here. Take it a little bit slow. My I don't wanna, you know... These beings before. At first, they may appear mindless. But they hear quite well. In great numbers, they can be very deadly. We can move Kenobi over here. Stay put. No one will cross. Just gonna stay put for right here. An entire city of our own people left to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. I'm on it. They will probably see me with this. Yup. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Nice. Beautiful. How many is that now? Got it covered. Drain an ammo fast. Let's go ahead and hunker down for right now. Nice. The only thing possible for aliens. Oh, they revealed. That's okay. Ah, 
Ah, uh, first miss. Just off the mark. Hello, ugly. These creatures are worse even than Advent. They have no cause, no fear. They simply exist. If we do not defeat the aliens soon, we will become little more than they are. Okay. Reloading. Already there. Nice. And I just noticed that it was a Tell death incinerator God, trooper. I'm coming. My turn on watch. So that's lovely. We risk all this for Praetel Mox? If he is not what you say he is, I shall kill him myself. Looking forward to this meeting already. I will reposition. Okay, I'm gonna move Anakin to here. Extraction point is close, but looks like these things don't want to make it easy for you. We will make it to your pet advent in time. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll watch closely. Do 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 do. Central. Biological signatures are grouping into a singular mass. One closing in on this position. A swarm. We must push forward before it arrives. Let's see. Here I come. Okay, that corpse was dropped. Ah, revealed. Okay. Come here then. Moving to position. Okay. Let's do force meditation. Okay. Let's see what happens here. More of them. Of course there are more of them. Come on, Anakin. Miss. First miss from the Chosen One. That's shocking. Oh, there is an incinerator. My people hunted his kind. For years, we survived. Now, you risk everything for your dreams of peace. If you haven't noticed, the aliens have been kicking our planet's ass for the past 40 years. You think maybe it's time we try something else? If only your speeches could take down these cursed creatures. Good riddance. Okay. I need more ammo. Nice. Volk says hello. I need ammo to hunt. Let's move Anakin and get a shot on this incinerator over here. Maybe it'll blow up this guy. Death incinerator. I like that name. Nope. That's okay. All right, Kenobi. Go in. Nice. Target neutralized. Give me a minute. Nice. Who's keeping Biological score? readings in your general area are clear. No more creatures on approach. For now. Then let's not linger here. Head to the evac coordinates now. Though their intelligence appears almost non-existent. These creatures seem to employ some sort of rudimentary communication system. Perhaps auditory signals or some form of hive-like consciousness. Your point, Doctor? The entire swarm knows there is food here now. I would advise we make haste to leave this area. Um you should have a clear path through now. Second squad is already en route to Mox. 
Proceed to the rendezvous and await their arrival. Oh, we'll be there. Well, good. You better be. We'll see what happens. Looks like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. Stay focused. Contact! Get down! We may have a bigger problem here. I'm guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Croc Sod. Advent. Hobbit. Rockstola. Fortet. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drunk. Tim. The lost. Our meeting point is still secure. <laughs> she is free of the imposter gods. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your reapers. Now, we must go. I will say... Part of me likes Mox a lot better than Elena. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the Skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve and die as their puppets. We retain all that we were and more, and our prowess in battle serves us well in our cause. In close combat, none can stand opposed to us. Okay. Let's move fast. Rex is gonna go first. Don't remember seeing Aha. these things before. You were not meant to. Purifiers were created with a singular purpose to contain the Doc Ten, the Lost. We must eliminate this patrol quickly before others arrive. Fine by me. Take them down. Probably should have moved Rex behind some sort of cover. Defensive position. A useful aid. <laughs> Excuse me, I sneezed. Well, I succeeded in knocking out the pole. I see it. This looks a little ugly. Ammunition is low. Nice. That was something. You weren't kidding when you said those tanks could explode. Careful with these things. We don't need to take any unnecessary. Nice, Rex. The patrol has been liberated. May their lives not be lost in vain. We must push forward and complete our mission. Works for me. Move out. Okay. Cover fire, go! As you command. Can move Mox down here. We are going to reload him. By the way, just so people know, I do have plans to use both Mox and Elena, but convert them to being clones that are already with in my plans. So, just so you know, we are going to see them, you know, in action, just in different bodies. Get ready for attack. A ten baton. I stand ready. I'm not going to say who they are specifically just yet, but I will say that, that it is going to be the case. Take aim. Let's have some fun. Take them out. As you order. Patrol. It's an army. Yes, 
One we do not have time to face. Everyone, get back! Whoops. Purifiers may be down, but unfortunately, that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. The lost. The sound of combat excite them. They are drawn to it. And you just blew up a fuel truck? There was no other choice. Find an alternate exit. We will deal with the lost. Aw, oh, Cody. Alrighty. Draklar. Dashers. They are not as docile as the rest of their kind. An apt description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing them to speed and agility with a corresponding increase in aggression. Nice, Rex. Bobby, a few seconds. Okay. Cody, go ahead and take the shot down here. Nice. I did see it. We'll do Overwatch here. We'll do that. What the heck is going on with the shadows here? Come on, Cody. Ah, oh, what, buddy? Notice how some of them do have blasters. So, yes, the loss can now fire back. So cover kind of does matter, actually. The shockwave of that explosion reverberated throughout most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction from the lost. The only reaction I will accept from them is the deaths. Find us that pace. Okay. So as long as one of these is not an incinerator trooper, we're fine. Oh, I can pistol whip again? Oh, man. It's going to be fun to play with the ARC Troopers. I can tell you that. Especially with all of them being in Biko classes. Or Akimbo classes, excuse me. <laughs> Come on, Cody. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. That whole area is hotter than we thought. Gonna need a little more time. Understood. Holding position. Come on, Cody. There we go. Okay, reaction shots for you may not be seem to be the best, it seems. Let's see what happens here since they're now coming from behind us. Come on, Cody! Yep. Okay, reaction shots are not your best thing. Come on, Rex! Ooh! Rare miss from Rex! Aww. I think we've got something here. Just need another minute. You have a minute. Okay, Rex is definitely being the gunslinger at the moment. Definitely. Okay, reload marks. And Overwatch. Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. We found a new route that should get you to the rendezvous point safely. The lost are still converging on the area, so make it fast. That will not be a problem. He's so. 
He's so cheeky. I love it. Let's go. Moving there. Let's move fast. Take more, move fast. I move. All right. Oh, hi. Whoa. Shall we get a little bit more experience, please? Okay, it's a dasher. Good. Nice. Go for the incinerator here. Ah, oh, didn't blow up. What? Alright, let's get Cody some shots here. Nice. Beautiful. Very good. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward a little bit more. More of them? Oh, I missed one. Okay, well, th I mean, that's fine. Let's go pistol whip it. <laughs> that's gonna be way too much fun. Out of actions? Aww. Let's have some fun. Wait! I run. Get ready for our attack. Alright, Rex, come on down here. Everybody's reloaded for the next phase, right? Right. Okay. The and the first team should be waiting for you ahead. I know this wasn't the easiest stop, but I have to believe it'll still be worth it in the end. That depends on the Reapers. So that's part two down. Now for phase three. Good stuff. Whoop, I bumped my mic. Did not mean to do that. What can I say? It's been a few days since I've uploaded anything, so... Today is an extra long recording. Rendezvous point directly ahead. Let's try and play nice today, people. So... Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. Any time. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the Elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. Choice is yours. No one has ever done that before. No one shall ever do that again. What the hell is that? Vox Prima, Elder Assassin. Relentless death that stalks my kind. Butcher of free advent. My people face another like her. They are the undying. Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. Ooh, boy! The Chosen are here! Are Reapers face a being such as this? They appeared without... If not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> such arrogance. The Elder's will extends throughout the universe. I am not one of their instruments. Move, move. Okay, so Rex is gonna come down here. Against my, uh better judgment. 
Cody the same. Mox is gonna come down here. Anakin's gonna come down here. Obi-Wan's gonna come down here. You know what? Everybody's gonna come down. We'll see how this goes. Reapers are always vigilant. Attack. And there she is. Oh yeah, another additional mod. As he is obviously as you can tell looks like a Sith assassin almost. So weakness is the chosen can increase or uh, takes increased damage from explosions. Okay, she's shell shocked. Adversary is a Reaper. Okay. But you never see it. Fair enough. There will be no escape. Oh, leap strike. Oh, that's kind of cheaty. But I know where they are. I know where they are. Let's put that claymore down. I had not expected this conflict to be so exhilarating. You surprise me, XCOM. Still, the Elder's will is that none survive this day. I cannot leave that to fortune. The sonic dispersal waves emitting from that pod are crisscrossing a massive area. Okay. So we have the loss now to deal with. Meaning that thing just rang the dinner bell for every remaining lost in the city. An accurate assessment. The entire lost biomass seems to be converging on this position. Oh, good. And let's get you all the hell out of there. Firebrand's en route to the evac coordinates now. Get moving. Oh, so we've defeated the Chosen. Okay. Well, that's reassuring. Good job, Rex. Cody, get your butt up here. I go. Anakin's gonna spread out over this way. We're gonna provide some overwatches on the front line here. <laughs> this is where things get a little tricky. Nice, Anakin. Who's keeping score? Initial analysis of these creatures' movement patterns reveals an almost coordinated attack strategy. Perhaps they're not the mindless automatons they initially appeared to be. An intriguing, if not horrific, possibility. I'll keep an eye on it. All right. Rex, go here. I know this is going to kind of put you on the front line a little bit, but you're going to be fine. Nice. <laughs> the incinerator trooper did not die. Okay. Mox is moving here. Well, good. I hope you watch. Oh, it's a miss. I got nothing. Again, the chosen one missed. I mean, we'll be fine, but that's a lot of lost. Nice down, Marks. Nice down. Come on, Cody. Again, reflex shots. Doesn't seem to be his thing. Ouch. 
these creatures can still be in this city. Advent has been sending purifier squads into these cities. Yet somehow the lost survive, even thrive. We do not know why. Rex is gonna move in. Okay. We'll do Overwatch Seer. Cody, against my better judgment, is also gonna go on Overwatch again. To that position. I await their approach. Anakin's gonna move in here. Elena is going to move up as well. Going to kind of keep it tight. Just so long as we don't get an incinerator trooper in here. Because that would be bad. Okie dokie. Hello, Lost. Hello. Well, I mean, we blew up the wall. Oh, it's a miss from Rex. Come on, Cody. Oh my god. Cody cannot... He can't do those reflex shots. Mox, good save. Their casualties I did not exist when this city stood whole. Still, I feel revulsion at what happened to this place. To these people. I believe you. Well, good. What do we got? Come on, Kenobi. Nice. If we can get something like Bladestorm on Kenobi. Oh, I love Rex. I love Rex so much. The Akimbo class, I think, is going to be mine. Uh, the Akimbo and the Jedi class, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with. No trespassers. Let's rock. Absolutely. Covering now. My life is in your hands. Watch oh, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Nearly done with the episode. <laughs> Nearly done. Hello, Trippers! Hello! Oh my god, that's a lot. Uh, that's a miss from Elena, okay. That shouldn't happen. No, it shouldn't. Oh, Anakin. Good job. Is Cody gonna take a shot? No, oh, Rex is going for it. Nice. Nice drop. Oh! What's going on? He had two guys. Nice and done. A day when my people take back this place for our own. If they are all like you, that is a likely possibility. Nice and done, Kenobi. Target neutralized. Come on, get some shots in here. Nice. Promotion earned. Miss. Yeah, he's he's having a heck of a time right now. Poor Cody. Poor, poor Cody. Nice. Okay, let's do this. Mox is gonna move in here. I really hope an incinerator trooper doesn't barge through here. As we are very much grouped up. Come on, Rex! Ooh, nice shot! Get another one! I don't know where you were aiming that time, Cody. Okay, there goes that guy. Your friends will join you soon. 
detecting additional lost converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise caution. It would seem the lost are on to our strategy. It is the Elder's will that this alliance fall. It will take more than mere lost for that to happen. Okay. That was something. Beautiful. Cody, please get this guy. <coughs> Thank you. Get in here. Oh, this mission. Well, good. I hope it's under your watch. Man, I really do hope a Insider Trooper doesn't go through the door. Okay, Rex is reloaded. And ready to go. Ouch! I hit the mic. Oh, no. No! Thank God. Oh dear God! Why? Look at the bodies here. Monrex, take him down. Nice. Firebrands in position, but the evac zone's even hotter than we thought. Running out of time here, people. Tell her to hold as long as she can. We will be there. Kenobi's leading the charge. Nicely done. Oh, it's a miss. Well, that's a problem. Go pistol whip this guy, please. Into submission. Nice. Monrex, MVP. I mean, he's got to get MVP status for this. He is rolling. Missed. Okay. Well, that's that's okay. It's fine. We'll manage. Nice marks. Nice, nice, nice. Elena's really so gonna go through here. Cody's gonna through the door. Cody, we definitely need to up his um his reflex skills. I think, as he missed a lot of Overwatch shots. I don't even think he got one shot the off. Magnitude of the biomass converging upon this position is staggering. If our team does not evacuate now, trust me, Doctor. They know. Yeah, we're we're really even. Don't worry, we're piecing out. The entire swarm converges upon us. We cannot hold this position much longer. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? This is as low as I can get her. No. I do not intend to die this day. I will follow. Time to return home, traitor. No. Oh, snap. All right, well... It was no easy task, but we managed to get the Reapers and the Skirmishers to cooperate for once. That in itself is an accomplishment. That was a crazy mission. Now... We may have chosen a different means of resistance, but our people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation. Or die trying. The resistance factions take a more flexible approach to training than traditional soldiers. They can often learn multiple new abilities with each promotion. It 
We'll adapt to follow your choices, Commander. We'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so, like I said, Outrider or Elena will eventually be a clone. Uh, coming up in the next episode, basically. Um, I'll let you all know what that's going to look like. But, I will, you know, she'll be a clone. Rex, what have we got here? Bullet time. Dual shot, single shot, and last one. Trick shot, leg shot, and checkmate. No longer in turn. Electrified spike. Repeat melee attacks against the same target have a 75% chance of disorienting. Melee attacks against disoriented enemies have a 75% chance to stun. Additionally, melee attacks against disoriented or stunned enemies will shred one armor for each hit. Holy crap! Wow! And force sense. Sense nearby units without with even without line of sight. Force sense will reveal concealed and burrowed enemies. Oh wow. I think bullet time. But that force sense, man, that mmm. The Akimbo class is gonna be a lot of fun. And Obi-Wan. Alright, what do we got? Deflect. Just a chance to deflect incoming shots. Force push. Force lightning. I think I'm gonna go deflect with Kenobi. And when I get the chance, I'll double back and do force push. That just makes sense for him. As far as the additional classes go. Efficiently executed and no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Do you see the cost of your actions? Do your soldiers truly understand what lies ahead for them? Bear witness. The Resistance factions can help us locate our captive soldier if we deploy on a covert action alongside them. Thank you for sending additional support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good use. Alright, so Anakin is a Jedi, obviously. Cody is going to be a specialist. And I'll, you know, change out his weapon. But that's pretty cool. Awesome. So, like I said, I'm going to have Elena be, um, a different character in the next episode. Um, we'll eventually get her to be some sort of trooper. I don't know which one at the moment, but it will happen. But I'm sorry this was a long episode, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of just payback for the last few days. I don't see anybody else stepping up other than the autopilot. Uh, of me not having videos up the last few days. I will have an update video as to why it's been a little bit sporadic. Um, but not right now. But that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free, as always, to Hulk smash that like button. Comment in the comment section below if you do not, do not forget to subscribe. And as always, may the Force be ever in your favor.